Our neighborhood is on fire and he said it's really bad and I'm almost home so we're about to find out how bad this is doesn't sound good at all though I see smoke there's smoke all down the street let me stop being nosy and pull into the complex okay so it seems like it's across the street and they're blocking they're blocking cars from going down that street and there's a lot of smoke on going that direction so I don't understand why they have over here blocked off when I see all the smoke over there that's pretty weird but there's a lot of cops there's a lot of cops and a lot of fire trucks I hope everything I, I hope everyone's okay my fear is that I'm gonna start a fire one day by leaving the stove on. I have like this big fear that I'm gonna leave the stove on one day. And the funny thing is, I've never left the stove on ever before in all of my life, but that's just one of my fears. And one of my other fears is leaving the iron on. That's probably why I don't iron my clothes. No, that's an excuse. But I haven't ironed my clothes in like a decade. Yeah, can't see, can't see anything from here. It's just lots of cops, lots of fire trucks, and the street is blocked off. So let me go inside, because I'm not trying to get secondhand smoke. <laughs> yes, it is pretty bad. I just opened the door and the smoke is like suffocating me right now. I see it. Oh, I see the smoke. Oh my gosh. It looks really bad. Okay, so let me tell you what it is. Like I'm in an apartment complex and then there's a small street like um there's a small street that's like that has I would say it's a two-lane highway, but it's not. It's like a, a back street, like a, a two-lane back street. And then there's a house, and then I see another house, and then I see the smoke. There's a lot of smoke, guys. I don't see flames, though. I just see smoke. And it smells really bad out here. I don't see the smoke over here. I see down the street, but I smell it. Maybe because the smoke is, like, blowing in that direction. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> Okay, so I am done. Ow! I, just, <laughs> I am in so much pain. I have been so much in so much pain for these past few days, like with different with different ailments. Like my foot hurts, and and my leg hurt. My leg is my leg is hurting. My knees hurting. My back, my lower back is hurting. The top part of my back. I'm just in pain. I don't even know where some of these pains are from. I'm guessing most of this from old age. <laughs> Anyways, and yeah, I just did a mukbang and there's still a lot of chaos going on across the street with the fire. Um, I know the, the streets are still blocked off, but I was thinking later on when like maybe the cops and everything goes away and the fire trucks go away that I can walk over there and see what's going on there. There's still, there's still another fire truck. Oh, I think he's leaving. It was a fire truck leaving. So maybe I can go over there and maybe see the house or whatever if it's still up. And then I can Google and see if everybody was okay. Because they usually don't put everything in the news when it when things happen here until like the day after, like two days later. So I'm sure I'm not going to find out about it right away. But I'll see if I can walk by the house. And if I do, I'll take you guys with me. Um, Jonah, do you mind? I have to lock them upstairs for my mukbang. You guys want to say hi to them? Oh, you guys are trying to look cute. Alright, I'll let you guys free. bad job of not coming back outside earlier because now it's raining from the storm 
and I can't walk over there to the firehouse. <laughs> oh well. Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. I heard it might be worse tomorrow. Ooh. Okay, so it's only like a, it's like a light drizzle right now, so I'm going to try and see if I can walk down the street to the house that was on fire. Okay. Hopefully you guys don't get wet. If you guys get wet, it's all my fault because I'm being nosy. Except you said I'm being nosy. I probably am. What are you doing? You better not be drinking off the ground. He likes to drink the puddles off the ground. Like I don't give him water. Okay, come on. Come on. Probably won't be able to see anything anyways. It's so dark out here. There's more light coming from the camera than there actually is light in person. Um, I was like getting ready to call him. Jonah! Guys, I see, I see the smoke. I mean, I see the smoke. <laughs> I just smell it. I just don't see which house it is. Dang it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, oh, start it. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back here during the day and drive around so I can find it better that way. <sighs> oh, oh well, I tried. Now I was trying to do it for the vlog. Now I gotta run. <laughs> I took out my, my, what is that thing called? Mask. I took out my gloves. I'm like, let me just run to the store really quickly. Just pick up some food for the dog. And get a candle because my candle's running low. And that candle be making me feel so good. Be putting me in a better mood. And as soon as I got outside, it started raining again. <laughs> it looks so depressing out here. It's been looking so depressing all day. Like, it's so dark in here right now. It's only 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Like it's so gray, it's so gloomy out here. It's been like this since last night. That's um the storm, it hasn't developed into anything yet. They said probably by tomorrow when it's going over Bahamas, it's going to be Tropical Storm or Tropical Depression Arthur. I don't think depressions have names, but if it does become a storm, a tropical storm, it, his name is gonna be Arthur. So yeah, Arthur, Arthur is like, Arthur? <laughs> Arthur's like depressing me right now. So we're getting the bands and stuff, so it's not raining like hard all throughout the day. But it's raining and it's annoying and it's sad and it's depressing me and I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in my house. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go ahead and edit a video now since I don't have anything else to do. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> Still dark, 7.15 in the afternoon, but I turned on the camera because I forgot to tell you guys that I ordered my rollerblades online this Monday that just passed and they were telling me like the whole week that it was gonna be coming this coming Monday. Today's Friday and I just logged on to check the status and now they're saying that it is scheduled to be delivered to me tomorrow. I am so happy. That thing is. <laughs> I might not be home when it's delivered because I'm going over to my mom's house tomorrow, which is a Saturday. It's also Jasmine's birthday, so I'm gonna be all at all at her house on her birthday and everything. So even if it does come in or if it's delivered before I go over there, I still won't be able to like use them until like Sunday or, or Monday after work. Well, not Sunday after work, Monday after work. What? I'm so happy. So I guess either way it wouldn't have mattered if it was delivered tomorrow or on Monday because I'm still gonna only be able to use it on Monday. But that is besides the point. I hope they fit, I hope they're comfortable. And yeah, all that good jazz. So yeah, so your girl's gonna be rollerblading again. I got them at a decent price. Again, I hope they fit, but I'm so super excited. So probably the next time, no, no, probably the next time I'm vlogging, you're not going to see me opening it. 
but you'll be seeing me opening it soon so if you are interested or if you are just excited about roller skates like I am I don't know why I'm so excited about it then keep watching the next few vlogs I'll probably record me trying to get back on and skate after a few years do I do I still even remember how to do that no never mind I'm not gonna do that cuz I don't want to embarrass myself <laughs> and all nice and windy out here today it's probably because of the disturbance that's out in the ocean next to us near the Bahamas so early on into the season like hurricane season hasn't even officially started